Okay, so let's make two deterministic finite automatas for these two languages, namely the empty set over binary strings, and this one, which is all binary strings that are not the empty string. So this means I'm not going to accept any strings whatsoever. So this is actually pretty easy. We just need to make a state right here that will loop through all of the characters and not accept any of them. And so therefore, this is not going to accept any string. For this guy, we can actually use closure and the complement to save us a little bit. So if we make a DFA for all strings that are the empty string, namely the empty string, and then just flip final and non-final, we can make things a lot easier for us. So let's make a DFA for this, which is if I make a start state right here, the start state better be accepting because I need to accept the empty string, and there's no other way to do so in a DFA, because every transition reads something. But if I read anything at all, that is not the empty string, and so it needs to go to a non-final state, which means that I need to have that be a dead state, because I'm not going to backtrack and read fewer characters. But then if we want the original language, which is not this, we flip final and non-final. So I'm going to make this not final and this one final. And therefore, this is a deterministic finite automaton for the set of binary strings that are not the empty string, as well as the empty set up here.